Hey there, welcome back guys. Boom, in this video we're gonna talk about fireworks in your drone. That's right, shooting fireworks. Um, some of us are on the fence with it. Some of us just have the balls to just go out and go right through them. And others like myself just are really cautious. Um, so, you know, without any further ado, let's get started. Um, so one optimal way of shooting fireworks is for me, I just stay as far away from them as possible. Um, and what I like to do is I like to set waypoints, right? Um, and sometimes it doesn't always go as planned. You can shoot, you can go through them. You see videos of people flying right through them. Uh, I probably recommend having a um, UV filter on them so that you can see. But if you're like me and want to get the fireworks, want to go up, uh, I would recommend just staying as far away as possible. Know the perimeter of where the fireworks are going to go off. It's hard to say know the perimeter because a lot of times you can have fireworks in the field. And, you know, they're illegal in some states or mostly all states, uh, you know, wherever you are. But when it comes time to celebrate them, no one's going to respond to that 911 call on the 4th of July and say, hello, 911 dispatch, how might I help you? Hello, operator. Yeah, there's people, there are fireworks. Uh, really? <laughs> it's the 4th of July. <laughs> but anything before or after that most likely will get a call response uh, to someone lighting the fireworks. So that being said and moving forward, this is why you have to be careful because one, you're going to have the celebration of the perimeter and the field, uh, football field, soccer field, whatever field, park, where they will be legally set, right? And, and supervised. And then you're gonna have folks that are kids or wherever, um, families um, that bought their fireworks in Chinatown or wherever it is, and they're just gonna shoot them off in the street. So that's why you're not always safe when you think you're safe because you're like, oh, I'm gonna capture the fireworks around the park. It's gonna be awesome. But what about, you have to go from point A to B to get there. So you just, it's sort of like a roulette game that you're gonna play uh, because uh, you just have to hope and pray that on your way to the destination or maybe your waypoints are already set um, that no one's gonna shoot anything up in the air. And um, you're more likely to get into trouble um, uh, if the drone lands on someone because the fireworks just shot up and went into the drone and the drone, you know, will just fall from the sky. And if you're flying something like this, uh, that's just shutting off. It's fine, we can leave that. Um, if you're flying something like this, you could do it with the Mini 4 Pro too, because the Mini 4 Pro, I believe, has waypoints now. Imagine this falling from the sky, right? Opposed to this little, this little guy right here. We'll, we'll do some damage, but not as much damage as this. See, big difference. So that's why the Mini 4 Pro or Mini 3 comes in handy when, when doing stuff like that, because it has a bit, you know, pretty good camera. You get the lens and HD and the waypoint set. Uh, and again, um, waypoints will work, but sometimes you have to um, bail out because you'll see in the clip that I'm showing you that um, I was good to go. The cops showed up. They were nice. They're like, hey, if you need anything, that's great. But um, no one, fireworks, I, I stayed far away from the fireworks. I just didn't want to go through them and I just didn't want to risk, um, you know, being a cat, this thing, this, even though I had had carry fresh on it. Um, would just be a casualty of a spectating event. Um, but that being said, to each their own, be cautious. You might be able to set the waypoints, and when you do set the waypoints, just always have a bailout. Know that emergency thing. Uh, and, you know, you'll see videos of folks actually flying through them. Again, like I said before, I'll say it again, if you do want to fly through it, um, just get a uh, UV lens that's somewhat replaceable so that you can, um, uh, you know, have a new one ready to go when you, let's say you want to fly again tomorrow or after the 4th of July. Anyway, this is a video just gives you an idea and, um, you know, you have to just use your better judgment when flying through them or around them and just knowing that something spontaneous could happen from deep down below but have fun it's the fourth of july um you know enjoy your independence while you can especially with your drone because even though it is the fourth and you celebrating our freedom but apparently our drones are now 
almost banned, right? It kind of sucks. But anyway, we'll leave those videos for the other guys. I'm still, I'm still going to have fun. I'm still going to fly. I'm still going to make stuff. Uh, just wait and see what happens. You know, start saving now for that more expensive drone that was probably once $500. It's now going to be $2,000. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, I hope this video helped you and better understanding of what you can do and still have fun with your drones, either with the band, without the band, uh, with the fireworks, without the fireworks, um, and much, much more. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. I must have went blind tonight, cause I swear that you out of sight. Man, I'm so up, I could be a pilot, and I just so trying to catch a flight. Uh -huh. So let me get the digits. I call right now if you're with it. I seen a thousand pretty girls in this room. A dollar and I've been looking for you. I've been searching it so hard to find a girl who's one of a kind. Just being alone just isn't cool. I'll take a thousand trips around the world Just so I could find you, girl Cause darling, I've been looking for you yeah, I'm looking for you Get on a flight to space If it meant that I can hold you closer Girl, I jump out of